I still have, I'm still upset and angry about it, but it was years ago. Because I believed in, I wish the robbers come back and the police leave. And I'm still upset today. That was my first time. And many years later, my experience with the police has not changed. So let me say this first. Not every police officer is a racist. And not every racist is a police officer. Uh, being said that, then you realize that there was a problem. What is the issue? The reality is that I come to learn as a black man who's living this part of the world that race matters. How people perceive you, how people talk to you, and how the systems of justice, or you can call it injustice, deals with you is based on your race, your culture, your ethnicity. I come to learn when I was back home in Somalia as a refugee, I used to believe that racism in the United States is over. Long gone. It was something that used to be practiced in the 16th, 17th century. Believed that everybody was equal and everybody is provided equal and a lot under the law, equal rights. I learned the hard way. That's not the case. And many of my community members that I work with <coughs> learned the hard way. That's not the case. So rewind that and let me share it with you. Last time profiling happened to me. It was last month. It was an important. I was driving from the coast. I was driving an Uber. And as a responsible now, understanding the issues of race, whenever I'm coming across small towns, I slow down, make sure that I'm the right line, so the fast cars can go to the left line, make sure that I watch my speed, and make sure that I don't violate any traffic. The fast flow of force. As I did that, I was passing downtown Uber. I suddenly saw to my left shoulder a police cruiser passing through me. When he was parallel with me in my car, he realized that he was driving next to him. He hit the brakes so fast and he did those police monitors that you see in the movies, almost hitting on my bumper. And by then I knew it was a matter of minutes or seconds before I had been stopped, so I prepared for myself. I will ask the white members in this room, imagine, how many of you come and think about how can I be safe in this situation and be alive and go home with my children? That was what was going on in my mind. I want to be with my children tonight. I pull over when the lights are on as a responsible driver. Make sure the first thing I did, put my hands on the wheel, steering wheels. So there will be no misconceptions of what I'm trying to do. When the police officer approached me, the first question he asked me, do you know why I stopped you? <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, no officer. And he said, well, your tax expired. And my tax, by my view, says on March, 2015. So I still tried to give a benefit of a doubt for the officer. And I said, officer, unless my tax ex fell from, you know how usually you just put on top of the other ones when you get the new ones? Unless my tax fell from my blade, I think my tax are okay. They're not expired. He insisted that my tax are expired. So I said, officer, I'm gonna go to the golf compartment and now I'm gonna pull my registration my DEQ form. I open it and pull it and show the DEQ form that says expired March 2015. And the officer said, well, D, 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 uh, DMV, of course, shows still your tax expired. 
And for that moment, I looked at him and said, officer, no, you and I know that. You just 